Hey there everybody, this is NDM here, welcoming you back to another episode of Let's Play Super Metroid. Okay, so in the last episode we got to the boss entrance of Meridia, and this is going to be um, quite a quick and easy boss actually, because there is a special tactic that you can use to beat him, and it's probably the, the only way of beating him, or, well I don't know, there is the longer way of beating him, and then there's a the quicker way of beating him, but I want to try and do the quicker way. Alright, so you have to break these open with your missiles. I don't know if they break open with regular missiles or what, but I just use super missiles just in case. I think the boss is called Dragora. Can't remember the name of it exactly, but he'll pick you up basically, like that. And there will be a point where he'll bring you close to the electric, and you gotta just keep spamming the grapple beam basically, and hope that you, well, he's getting closer to it, oh, come on, no, yeah, like that, so, I mean, it does drain a hell of a load of your health away, but it kills him in one hit, so, the easiest boss in the game, <laughs> yeah, very easy, I don't even know what would be the normal way of beating him, but, yeah, his children are coming to bury the body. That's kind of sad. We killed the mother. We are victimless crime... Um... Crime... Creators. <laughs> We're victimless crime creators. Yes, we create victimless crimes. And it would be a victimless crime because he was trying to attack me, so I tried to kill him because I was being, well, trying to save the world. Samus is trying to save the world, you know? And in order to save the world, we have to kill your mommy. Yeah. Alright, let's go and get ourselves healed up. So, we are pretty much collected everything in Norfair. No, why do I keep calling it Norfair? It's not Norfair, it's Meridia. <laughs> yeah, we've um, almost collected everything in Meridia. Now, there's only the plasma beam that's left to collect on the way out. And then we're done. So... Yeah, so we've only got the space, we've only got, well, we just got the space jump, so all that's left in here is to collect the plasma beam. And then we got a few more collectibles to get in Brinstar and Norfair before we go to Ridley's hideout. And then once Ridley Ridley's hideout is done, we've pretty much done everything that there's needed to be done in the game. We just got to go ahead and do Tarian. Which is the final area. And then fight the mother brain. Yeah, there's no there's nothing in here to collect. You'd think that there'd be something in in this massive room here, like missile pack or something, but they didn't put anything in here. So it's alright. Now we just gotta make it back to the main room. So we're almost there now. Um, there's only one room we haven't been into and that's where the plasma beam is. And it's all the way up here. Yeah, sometimes the space jump cancels out like you're trying to press the A button in midair, but you have to like time the jump correctly in order to initiate it. Damn it! Like 
that, yeah. Damn it, I'll cut off. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of nasty enemies in here too that you can't kill unless you have the plasma beam, but. <clears throat> I don't think they respawn until you get. Oh no, they are, they are respawned. Right, so it's these things. Now you can't kill these things until you get this. Now this is the most powerful beam in the game. As it is in Metroid Prime as well, the plasma beam. So you can just pretty much eradicate everything with this. Just run through everything with it. So that concludes 100% for this area. Oh, you gotta kill all the enemies to get out of here? Oh, fine. It's no biggie. Alright then, I suppose we'll be off to Brinstar down the shortcut. I'm going to go down the shortcut, because well, that's the only way we can get back to Brinstar in a more efficient, timely fashion, so... Oh, this is so good to blast through everything with this. Finally, we got the plasma beam. We can do ultimate damage now. There's a power bomb here. Yeah, you can jump through this crap now. You don't need to freaking worry about going in the sand anymore. Because we have the space jump, bitches! <laughs> Well, we got the gravity suit, which already defies the laws of gravity, and now we've got the space jump, which also defies the laws of gravity. We're the gravity masters! The masters of gravity. Well, I guess I can end off the video here and continue on in the next episode. Actually, hang on, wait, no, let me save it first. We'll go down to the save station down here and I'll save it. I guess that concludes my recording session too, because I've got to render and upload. Alright guys, I'm getting off the video here and continue on in the next episode. So in the next episode of Let's Play Super Metroid, we shall be, um, why does it still say I'm in Meridia? Oh well. <laughs> yeah, in the next episode of Let's Play Super Metroid, we shall go to Brinstar and collect all the remaining pickups in Brinstar and then probably make a start on Norfair as well. So until then, this is NDM saying thanks for watching. Take care, everybody. See you in my next video, and goodbye.